Well, joining us now for more details on the upcoming UK election is journalist and commentator on international affairs, Tom Gross. So I guess my first question for you, and it's a wide one, is why are we seeing this anti-Semitism specifically in the United Kingdom? We're not typically talking about this issue in the UK. Where is it coming from? Well, in the most immediate sense, it's coming from the fact that the hard left took over the British Labour Party after there was a rule, <clears throat> there was a rule change on in the British Labour Party three years ago, enabling lots of uh, socialists and communists to join the party en masse, then voting Corbyn in. And I think that people are familiar with anti-Semitism on the extreme right, but many people are not familiar enough that there has been a long history internationally of anti-Semitism on the hard left, including the British hard left, which took over a previously kind of social democratic type Labour Party when Tony Blair and Gordon Brown led that party. All right, well, so what do you say about all the protests that have now erupted in the UK? Uh, is it enough? Will it work? Will it turn the right heads? Well, anti-Semitism has emerged as one of the biggest issues in this general election, which is unprecedented. Never before has anti-Semitism in the UK been such a major political issue. The chief rabbi, who's a very kind of soft-spoken, non-political figure, ha um, used the word poison in regards to Jeremy Corbyn's uh, leadership of the, of the Labour Party. Very strong words. There have been a number of protests on the streets, as we saw, including yesterday. Traditionally, British Jewish, the British Jewish community community has not been very vociferous. It's not come out in large numbers in the way that uh, the French or American Jewish communities have in the past. So this is a kind of awakening of the British Jewish community, which until fairly recently felt fairly comfortable. They felt Britain was a country with a very low level of, of contemporary anti-Semitism. And we have seen an emergence really from the far left, not, not, not so much from the far right in the UK. Now, I have multiple questions. I mean, this has been all over the headlines uh, here in Israel and among Jewish uh, media outlets, but are we seeing anti-Semitism in the headlines in the UK as well? Is this... You, you said that it was one of the main mm -hmm. issues, you know... Absolutely, absolutely. It has been one after Brexit and the economy. It's probably been the third biggest issue it's very in this election. Yeah. And... Uh, Look, some people would say that it's being used as a political tool against Labour, but in fact that's, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. L there have been multiple, multiple, in fact hundreds of incidents of anti-Semitism, um, some really vicious stuff, you know, right. uh, sounding like something out of uh, Nazi Germany or something. And uh, Corbyn argues that he's against anti-Semitism, but at the very least he's kind of tolerated it or been very slow to act against it. And um, some, well, my yeah. question here is just kind of the impact that we're going to see on Israeli-British relations as a mm -hmm. result of this election and this res sure. rising anti-Semitism that we're witnessing. Well, if Corbyn wins, and right now the polls show he's unlikely to, but if he wins on Thursday, I think that Corbyn, besides uh, tolerating anti-Semitism, has been an extreme anti-Zionist his whole life. In the, before he was leader of the Labour Party, his main job, in addition to being in Parliament, was to work as a paid commentator for Press TV, mm -hmm. the Iranian state television station, which has had Holocaust deniers and so on, on it, with Corbyn. So if Corbyn becomes prime minister, I think we'll see um, possible economic sanctions. We'll see Britain, which is one of the five permanent members of the Security Council of the United Nations, possibly voting against right. Israel. We'll see more BDS and, uh, and a very Those bad are... atmosphere in general. All right, well, Tom Gross, yeah. thank you so much for joining oh, thank us. You. Thank you. Now